On a day like today, with the Dow plunging nearly 800 points, it's important to talk about the concept of sentiment. Last week, we saw a series of cloud-based software companies report fantastic quarters, and their stock surged into the stratosphere because Wall Street was in a good mood. Then last night, we got some strong results from Coupa Software, C-O-U-P, which has a cloud-based platform that helps businesses identify cost savings. They like to call themselves the sales force of expense management. And what happens? The stock breaks down, plunging nearly $8, 11% on a hideous day for the averages. Did Coupa do anything wrong? While the numbers weren't exactly perfect, they were pretty darn close. I think this weakness had more to do with a newfound sense of negative Negativity as investors freaked out about the murkiness surrounding the president's handshake deal with China over the weekend, along with this inverted yield curve problem I've been talking about. Plus, Coupa's stock had run into the quarter as the whole cloud cohort rebounded dramatically. But look, the company reported a nice top and bottom line beat, 42% revenue growth. Mucho congratulations on the conference call. Management raised their full year forecast big. Finally, okay, they guided for just 26 to 27% revenue growth next quarter, which would be a meaningful deceleration. We're going to find out about that. But seeing as the guidance was totally in line with Wall Street's estimates, I don't think there's a problem. Truth is, this company's doing very well. And I bet we'll look back on this pullback as a buying opportunity eventually. But don't take it from me. Let's talk to Rob Bernstein. Now, Rob Bernstein is the chairman and CEO of Coupa Software. To learn more about the quarter and where it's at, Mr. Bernstein, welcome back to Mad Money. Thanks for having me, Jim. All right, Rob, I, I think you had the misfortune reporting on the, one of the ugliest days of the year. But I, I heard more congratulations for a great quarter than anybody this quarter, including Salesforce, including Workday. So tell us what you're doing to save some of these new customers, Airbus, Unilever, Barclays, money, because it's obvious you're doing something or they wouldn't be all using you. Well, thanks for having me on the show, Jim. Look, we're pushing forward on all cylinders with this business. You've seen the top line growth being exceptional. We're doing it with a very efficient focus on sales and marketing. We're seeing gross margin expansion. We're seeing subscription margin expansion. We're seeing scale to the business. And we're now managing nearly a trillion dollars of spend and management for companies around the world. You know, we took more than 100 customers live just this year. In this last quarter, we signed amazing customers like United Airlines, for example, who's going to be managing a whole host of spend through our platform, optimizing it and getting a great deal of value out of it as they think about uh, cost consciousness going forward. Now, let, let's take a company like uh, what Procter was one of your early adopters. Now, Procter & Gamble must spend a fortune procuring all sorts of different things. Tell us what some of the bargains you got for Procter are, because I have to believe that they have to be one of the largest organizations to procure, procure goods outside the military. Well, look, we're helping them source goods and services. We're helping them with contingent labor so that they can optimize the candidates coming into their company to help them. We're helping them streamline their expense management processes. We're helping them with our AI-based technologies to streamline invoice processing so you don't have to have all those people entering in data off of paper-based invoices. Every which way you can imagine getting spend and management for customers and helping them optimize it is what we're doing for them. And, you know, what we're seeing, Jim, is that our customers, they are really running a lot simpler, they're running a lot faster, and, frankly, they're running a lot smarter with this set of business spend management solutions that we're giving them. Well, let me ask you, on so many conference calls I hear, listen, there's supply chain issues. We're spending too much money trying to get the product to where it is. If they brought Coupa in, would you think they'd manage to save a little money and wouldn't be bellyaching so much? Look, the time-to-value equation for Coupa is really exceptional. The A, the letter A in Coupa, stands for accelerated. So a lot of our mid-market customers, they go live in just a couple of months. Our large-scale enterprise customers go live in under a year, and they recognize meaningful value. And that's measured in billions of dollars, Jim. So the impact is real and is being seen by hundreds of customers around the world. This is the the customer community we're building out there. It just couldn't be more exciting, to be honest with you. Now, you mentioned AI. For our viewers, that's artificial intelligence. Tell how, you know, a lot of people I'm probably think procurement. I mean, what, 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 what kind of intelligence is really necessary here? It's just going out making some phone calls. It's not that anymore, is it? Oh, wow. You, you would not believe what we're doing for our customers here. We have AI-based community intelligence. So we're looking at this hundreds of billions of dollars in transactional spend. And we're going to our individual customers and saying, look, there might be some risk with some of the suppliers that you're working with because we're seeing some of our other buyers in aggregate having risks with those suppliers. Or if you're looking for these commodities or these goods and services, 
these are the suppliers we think, we prescribe to you, that you should consider because they're deemed as really being very strong by our customer community. And we're doing this in real time. So we're giving this, this information for them so they can make adjustments on the fly to optimize the way they spend. Really, enterprise software hasn't ever been able to bring this much community intelligence to bear for helping individual customers make decisions, and we're doing it in this business spend management area. Well, I'll tell you, as a small business person, I'm listening, I know you're an enterprise, but this is what we all need, because this is how we get our bottom line so that we're still making money, even in an environment where we have to pay more for, for labor. I want to thank, that's Rob Bernstein, he's the, C, he's the CEO of Coupa Software, which is one of those stories that I had not reported on a day like today, I think we've seen different results. Thank you so much, Rob, good to talk to you. Thank you. Remember, the market sentiment is positive, negative, positive, negative. You have to have true north. You decide whether you want a great growth company and stick with it. That's what matters. We have money's back here for the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.